Hi, I'm taking a look at this newly released animation program, Open Tunes, and I'm trying to learn how to use it by playing around with it. And I thought I would try to do something that I would actually have some use for, and that would be a cutscene for a game that I am working on. In this cutscene, a door will be opened after the player has solved a puzzle. So I have some assets to begin with when I am making this animation. I have the background with the closed door drawn into it, and I have an overlay of the fully open door. I have modified the images somewhat for this animation. I have put in the player character so she can be seen in the door opening and I have made the fully open door into a separate item. The program comes with a lot of windows. In this setup I am mainly using two windows. I have a combo viewer and an exposure sheet or X sheet. In the X sheet you have at the top layers or levels, and to the left going down you have the frames for each level. First I'm going to set the frame rate. I'm going to do that from Cleanup, Customize, Scene Settings. And I will set the frame rate to 8 for this cutscene. Then I want to set the size of the video output, the width and the height that the final video will have. For this I go to Output Settings and set the Output Camera, the width and height of that image in pixels. First I set in the ratio 1.6 and then the width 640 and 400. Now we should create the first layer. You can create a new layer or level by right-clicking on a frame in the layer. You then get the options Load Level, New Level or Import Magpie File. With New Level you do that, you create a new level. With Load the Level you can load a level that you have created earlier or you can use it to import an image. And that is what I'm going to do. The background image is 640 pixels by 400 pixels, the same size as the camera output. So one would expect that the image would fit in the camera view, but it doesn't. It's a lot smaller. To fix this, you have to go to Level and Level Settings and change the DPI and resolution settings. There is a little handle at the bottom of the frame. We can use that to pull the frames down to cover more frames. We then add a second layer with the open door. We use the same procedure for loading the image and getting the settings correct. You can see a different problem. The image is not in the right position. For this, we have a handy tool in the toolbar above, the edit tool. We can use that to move the image. It can also be used to scale or rotate the image. Then we add uh, the level with the image of the completely open door leaving a couple of frames empty above it, making room for making the animation of the door opening. 
to use colors we need to open two more windows we open them from windows very hard hold palette and style editor palette holds the colors that you can use to paint in the level and uh, from style editor you can pick new colors or change the colors in the palette I'm going to put in three layers for making the animation. The bottom layer for the color, the middle layer for the line work, and the top layer that I will have guidelines to help me put the door in the right position in each frame. When you create a new level, you get options of different types of level. I have made the bottom level, the paint level, a Doom's raster level, and I have made the middle level a vector level, and the top level a raster level. For the animation work, you would probably want to activate the onion skin function. You can find the menu for that by right clicking on the image. You can zoom in and zoom out using the mouse wheel. For the line work, I have used the geometric tool. It can be used for a lot more things than just to draw in straight lines, but that is what I have used it for. For the paintwork, I have used the brush and the bucket fill. I'm sure there are a lot of other functions that I am not yet familiar with. I have tried to add a little bit of texture. Didn't work that well. My fault, not the programs. The animation turned out all right, but at the end of the day I could yet not paint as well as I wanted in the program. So I remade the door images outside the program and imported them together with some images of a character waiting to be rescued at the platform and animated them in tools. And this is what I got.